Hello Paul, we are back in Sydney. I have had my hair cut. We've been on the road in Malaysia for five weeks to film Laksa in Malaysia. What yes. do you think? I was quite excited. The only Laksa that I'd ever tried was one in your kitchen, which was a curry Laksa. I liked it, but getting to actually try the real thing in Malaysia was a whole different ball game. We did so many different types of Laksas, whether it was East Coast, West Coast, fish based broth, curry, nonya Laksa. I really enjoyed it. it. Opened my eyes to what Laksa is. In this series, we are featuring all kinds of different Laksas and we're going to show a few of them per episode. Let's have cool. a look. So we are going to cook laksa Johor today. Yes. Okay. Johor laksa is Johor's, Johorian's favorite food, yes. kan? Yes. Yeah? Uh -uh. So in this case, I found that uh, making Johor is also very complicated. So I think, can we divide it into four parts? Oh, okay. How That's to better. make the kuah. So right. you show me how to make the kuah or the gravy. Then show me how to make the noodles. Then the condiments in terms of cutting the cucumber, cucumber especially okay. and finally to make that special samba blachan, the oh, fiery right. one that will give the greatest zest to our Johor laksa dish. Yeah? All right. So how do you go about making the onions? Uh -huh. uh. The onions has already been uh, blended, yeah? Yeah, onions, onions garlic. garlic. Onions, garlic, and ginger. So we saute it until. How how long will you take to saute this? Uh, say about until it's dry. Uh huh. Uh, or aromatic? Yes, uh, that's better. Aromatic, yeah. Mm -hmm. We had put already the. We will put the chilies, Mandy. Yes. Uh, this is the curry powder. Uh, curry powder. This is actually an Indian influence, huh? yes. because you have Indian traders coming to Johor. So this could be an influence. Huh? And then we have the coconut milk, yeah? yes. and also the, the herbs from the garden. So, and then we also have the Chinese influence. <laughs> But before this, you already flake the fish, can Yes, I do. Ah, okay. <coughs> right, now we put pour in the blended fish. And the prawns, have you blended the prawns? Yeah, it's there. Uh -huh. Okay. See, the colour is already there. It looks so nice, lah, Kati. Uh, this is the prawns. Yeah. The prawn, the dried prawns, dried and the prawns ikan and kurau. the ikan kurau, the the thread fin, the dried thread fin ikan kurau. <laughs> Simpler version. You know, Katie, oh. I have done a simpler version. Oh, okay. Uh, because I find the young people now said to make laksa and chum is so expensive. Yes. So yes. now, what do you put? Lengkuas. Lemon grass. Lemon grass. Uh, the lemon grass and the galangal. And galangal. The juice, huh? Yes, the juice. The juice of galangal. Okay, now what do you do? What do you put? This is uh, krisi, which is uh -huh. coconut. Grated, grated coconut. coconut. Grated coconut is grated first. Yes. This gives the gritty, gritty uh field of the gravy it gives yes. great tea yeah so having done that now you will put this happening? tamarind slices ah, show show tamarind slices oops ah tamarind slices but some also use tamarind paste, paste. Can or yes not? tamarind can. paste or they will use the pulp oh yes the uh, pulp put water and, and then, then uh, put it inside the 
gravy, yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah. Better because Himalaya salt is uh, from saji. Have you put the sun? Not yet, huh? Uh, having put the Himalaya salt, and, and the final bit is to put the, the coconut milk, yeah? Yes. And let it simmer. Uh, uh -huh. So, you want me to pour uh, now? Yeah. So, but for the box, we also use the thick yeah. coconut milk. Huh? We are going to boil the water and boil the spaghetti. It's not that you plong the spaghetti into the a plate. You have to chop it. Chop means you make it into knots. Huh? Do you know the story of why Johorians eat laksa with spaghetti? Oh, because of the Sultan of... Ah, the Sultan Abu Bakar of Johor, he loves to travel. And he will travel when he went to Italy. Yes. He was served with spaghetti bolognese. And he said, hey, this is just like my laksa Johor back home, but we use rice flour. So in the end, he said, we will change the rice flour into spaghetti because it has got a better texture. So that's why the, they use spaghetti for, for, for it. Huh? Yes. Put a bit of oil, oil. Yeah? so that the spaghetti doesn't get stick to each ah. other. So having done that, we will now put the spaghetti in. So that's why Johorians eat spaghetti. Lemons for laksa, yes. actually, what do you do? You slice it. Yes. It will be like a spiral. Huh? Yes. So you cannot just bean serve. Bean. You just... The bean sprouts or the tauge. Uh, so this one is tail. Uh, tail already. And make sure you soak it in water so that it doesn't become black. black. Did you get the the chai po yes, this, or the radish? You buy the long one. Yes, the long one and I cut it into chop yeah. it. Calamansi lines. Ah, calamansi lines. And this you can grow in the garden, yeah? Cut into two, it is called Bimau Kasturi or Calamansi lines. These are the herbs. The herbs okay. normally are from the garden. And uh, you find that you cannot blend, huh? you cannot blend. Huh? Uh, the taste is a bit different. Different, and yeah. it's too fine. Yes. Whereas here will give a bit of uh, thickness, sikit, yeah? Yes. Yeah. So you put chili. Chili, and this is the famous shrimp, shrimp, uh, shrimp paste. Then. Shrimp paste. Blachan. Uh, blachan. And we call it blachan, yeah. must be roasted. Roasted first, huh? Roasted. Okay. And then. Uh, we we found it. Okay. Okay, this is done. The spaghetti is cooked and uh -huh. put into the cold water. This is uh, room huh? temperature water. Ah, okay, so you just tie it into the knots. Huh? And then I turn the... This is yes. You uh -huh. take the long one. And you turn into an eight. Ah, you see? The magic eight. I call it the magic eight la, Kati. Oh. How do we serve this? Okay, we put the cucumber first. Uh -huh. Make sure uh, the bowl you select also, don't use this bowl. Uh. This bowl uh, cannot for laksa, for Chinese, yes. uh, the mi curry, all can. Uh. But for Johor laksa, you have to have the broad, broad bowl uh, so that you can see and easy to eat with your hand. Yes. 
Then you put the radish, pickled radish or the chai po, the Chinese influence. This is herbs grown from the garden and uh, basil, yeah? Down slice it. Then you pour the gravy. It must be thick, not the watery. Watery. So it, it's served like this, but it's, it's not the watery, color watery. Ah, uh, so and then the water will come out, huh? And then we will show you how we eat. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Some laksa in Penang. So tell me about it. <laughs> See, this is uh, Penang Asam Laksa. The real sweet, soury taste. And then you can try there's a lot of herbs inside. What, what's inside? Fish broth. And then there's Bunga Kantan. Yes, correct. Bunga Kantan. Mint. This and is then mint. The mint yes. Okay, and then the chilies. Chilies. Uh, and then you must remember this one too. Asam koi. Asam? Asam. 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 Uh, oh, asam tamarind. Yeah, the tamarind. Okay. Right? This one is a piece of tamarind. Mmm, how is the taste? Mm, very nice. Very nice. Oh. And then you have also cucumber. Cucumber. You have some noodles there. Look at that, white noodles. Yeah, the noodles Onions. And then how is the taste yeah. of the soup? Mm, very nice. Very sour. And it's good. Oh. Uh, yeah, it got a nice kick. Yeah, kick. Yeah, that's the one I wanted. And then the, you the, taste the, the fish. Like you were saying when we were busy preparing, it's yes, uh, yeah, the, 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 the big outfit. Yeah. Nice and clear and fresh. Correct. And Just also, there. very important, you see, some people are very sweet. This one is sweet and sour. You see the sour mm. taste of it? The pig is that? Yeah. Is like, very important. As you drink it, you taste the tamarind sour yes. and then the chili pushes yes. it.
we've been through so many different types of laksa, cooked by hawkers, cooked by professional chefs. Yeah. Now, um, how would you? How do most Malaysians cook laksa at home? Okay, because I live in Budapest, in yeah. Hungary, so to get all the ingredients is a bit difficult, yeah. it's challenging. So normally what we use, we take um, whatever we can find in the shop. Sometimes you can buy those instant ones. Sure. So it's actually a shortcut to a asam laksa. Yeah. What we're going to cook now. Cool, right? cool. Okay. Can I just show you now how to cook it? Okay, yeah? great, great. So what sort of ingredients do you have here? Okay, so, so asam, basically... Okay, asam laksa, just to rem uh, remind our audience, is the sour... The sour, the, the call it fish broth. Yeah, yeah sour yes. fish broth yeah, with yeah, the yeah. rice, uh, rice noodles, noodles, and we condiment it with, with the condiment, uh, cucumber, uh, yeah, cucumber great. onion, sure, and sure. salad. Okay, you know? kind of like the Penang version. Something, something yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, you sure. know, the Penang version and the Kedah version is a bit different sure. in a way. Okay. But I think this one, because it's instant, yeah. we just make that, make do whatever we can buy, what cool, we can cool, get, cool. right? Cool. Yeah? Okay. The tea yeah, one. okay, yeah. sure. What are we using today? Now I'm going to use the instant laksa paste. Okay, sure. I'm I'm going to be very easy here. Sure. I just use the um, sardine from the can. Okay. I just clean up the sauce. Sure. Wash sure. it up and then okay. I mince it. Because usually it's got tomato sauce. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay, so you just wash it up. Yeah. Okay. Wash it up and then just mince it. Normally I would um, blend it, but this time I want to make it a bit more coarse. You know, okay. it's better. Sure, sure. And then of course the instant paste. Sure. As usual, normally because this one you cannot get it in Europe. In Europe, no way. But because I'm in Malaysia now, I love okay. to do this. But sure. without this, you can also use um, you can also use uh, lemongrass. Some people put lemongrass for the fragrance. Sure. Without it, it's also good. Okay. Normally, we have also the other one, kasum leaf. Yeah, the, the Vietnamese, Vietnamese mint. mint. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That one. That's sure. important. But everything we have already in the in the, the paste. paste, so you don't okay. have to really worry about. Okay. It. Sure. Sure. Yeah? Great. Great. So man, it's very easy actually. You can just cook it. Sure. With your friends, you know. Normally, yeah. I cook it with my friends during lunch. Sure. So. Uh, this is interesting because usually when people think of paste, they think yeah. of like the wet like uh, yes. paste, right? But this yeah. is like a dry paste. Dry paste. Okay, sure. now it's already boiling. Yeah. Is that this one? Sure. Now, you're using uh, like you use sardine or you use like canned yeah. mackerel or something. Can you use like canned tuna? Or? Yes, yes, okay, yes. yes. So the noodles you just blanch in water? I just blanch in water for okay. this one, it's ready. Okay, well obviously yeah. it depends on what type of noodles exactly. you're using. If it's yeah. dry, just follow the packets, yeah? Yeah, yeah, just follow the packet. And then yeah. like I said earlier, just use the vegetable, the thick one. Yeah. Or this noodle mihun also can. Doesn't sure. matter. Yeah, you know? yeah. Not a sure. problem. Okay. I'm gonna do is now at the on the side here. Sure. The cucumber, fresh salad. I think it's iceberg the salad. Ice, uh, yeah. Lettuce. Yeah. Lettuce or iceberg salad. It's cheaper. Sure. And then this uh, onion. Onion and the chili. chili. Right. Okay, that's it. Right. Very nice, isn't do it? Do you put the patisu down? The Normally paste? we do. I don't have it here. Okay. You can have sure. it if you if you you can add it if you want yeah. to. Otherwise, and if you can find it. Yeah, if you can yeah. find it. Yeah. Sure. Some people don't like it. Yeah. If you're a vegan, no, of course yeah, not, right? Sure. Yeah. Sure. So this is how oh, we assemble well, it now. So all you just right. simmer this until it's all smooth, yeah, like all nice mixed. and mixed. Cool. Yeah. Normally, if it's nice when you make it overnight, right? Sure. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, always yeah. overnight. Okay. Yeah. I think the great thing about doing it this way is at least with the fish you don't have to spend like a long yeah, time. Yeah, like how we do like our traditional bone. way, the bone you have to you have to uh, yeah, uh, bone the apart, fish yeah, yeah. and then get the bone and then debone yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of work. This it one is, yeah. just smash it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fast version. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So okay. yeah. great. Oh, that looks great, madam. Yeah. So this is a good substitute until you come to Malaysia and try exactly. the, the whole cover. Yeah. yeah. If cool. you want it to be spicy, you can add more chili. Otherwise, stay as it is. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Great. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to make a really quick and easy curry laksa. Now this is a curry laksa that you can pull together without a lot of fancy ingredients. And also you can do all of this in under 20 minutes. Okay, so let's get started. Now I'm gonna mainly show you how to make the paste. What we wanna do, and this is mainly because of the, uh, the uh, lemongrass, right? Usually, like I said, I use minced frozen lemongrass so I would I could skip this step and also 
for the dried shrimp. If you don't have dried shrimp, right, don't worry too much about it. Leave it out and use something else to give it a nice kind of like a, a seafoody flavor, okay? Even blachan, you know. Uh, but anyway, dried shrimp, just pretend it's been soaked and whatnot. So we're going to put some in. And uh, I'm going to blitz this a little bit. These, like I said, uh, already fried up, but they're sliced, right? So I want to blitz it into a, a, a kind of like a, a mincy consistency. And while I've got it, I'm going to throw in some of the minced dried garlic granules, okay? Maybe a little bit more like garlic. Okay, so I think that's all I need. Uh, this is what I've got in here, all dried ingredients. We're going to blitz it quickly. This is what I've ended up with, okay? Now, if I were very pedantic, I would mince it a little bit more. And if I were pedantic, I would actually cut off the longer end of the lung grass. Okay, I'm gonna empty this in here. This is all dry, okay? And not only is it all dry, but the onion's already cooked. Uh, curry laksa looks like that I've made before, right? Uh, now, we're going to add the curry powder. Okay, some people like more, some people like less, some people like to add curry powder plus coriander powder. Uh, me not so much, okay, I think the curry powder is plenty. And I'm just adding the chili powder here, okay, because this is mild, I can add quite a bit here. I'm going to mix this up. Just so that the, the flavours are mixed through properly, okay. oil in batches should have a nice sheen of oil on top okay. and what you want to do also curry leaves okay these are from my garden I don't have a lot left frankly uh, you can get dried curry leaves if you can't find fresh curry leaves here in Sydney Australia I'm just gonna add a touch of sugar and then I'm going to add some chicken powder. You, if you don't like using chicken powder, you can just add some salt here, okay? Okay, so this is what it looks like. That's really all it takes, okay? So that's your quick and simple 10 minute laksa paste. Let me just turn this off, move this aside. When it cools down, you can store it in the fridge freezer. And now, um, turn it into a soup, okay? I'm going to chuck in some tofu puffs, okay? Now, this is very typical for curry laksa. Not so much in other types of laksa in Malaysian cooking. Some coconut cream or coconut milk. Put a bit of this in. Depending on how creamy and coconutty you like your soup, you can use either or. And then, there's your curry laksa paste. A couple of tablespoons of it. Mix it through. Behind the scenes is I have blanched my noodles and boiled an egg uh, and blanched some vegetables. So I've got some, these are what we call Hokkien noodles or egg noodles, right? I think most Aussies would know this. I've got some choy sum over here, some bean sprouts. Okay, okay, voila, so it's coming up to a boil now. You can see the nice, just hang on a sec. Okay, the flavor is pretty spot on. You can see a nice sheen of oil, like you should with curry laksa, right? Pour it over your soup, your noodles. Oops, here we go. So there you go, you're quick and easy. 15 minutes it took me to make this, okay. So, there you go. Curry laksa. Paul, you wanna come over and try this? Of course I do. Not bad for yeah, a, a spot. <laughs> not bad for a ten minute laksa paste, right? Well, there you go. Next time you wanna have a go at making laksa, make sure you uh, try my recipe. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs>